I'm here today in the west end of Newcastle at the beating centre just behind me uh, because we have been notified of a fascist threat on a national level across the country. There have been a number of immigration services that are being targeted. We heard reports that the EDL were going to come here and uh, guess what? The cowards have not shown up. This is how Newcastle is. This shows the unity of the people here in the face of racism and fascism and shows those people spreading hatred, spreading division. Uh, I want to bring violence, are not welcome in our city, and we've sent them packing. Look at what the threat has done. Wonderful turnout. We've got the wider community here standing in unity and saying actually no to the uh, uh, threat of uh, far right. Their threat to enter has unified the entire community. So uh, this is exactly what the diverse community is all about. And we're here today to tell the far right and the EDL that they cannot come to our town and not expect a response like this. There's almost 2,000 people here today confronting the EDL and the far right to tell them that we want the racists off our street. We've got a message for the government, we've got a message for the media today. You whipped this up. You did this for the last 10 years. You've been whipping up racism and Islamophobia. You knew there was going to be riots. But one thing you didn't account for was this amount of solidarity and camaraderie amongst our brothers and sisters here today. There's a reason this sort of stuff happens. Yes, it's a, a number of racist thugs out there. But which of our politicians has had the bravery to say immigrants and refugees are some of the most vulnerable people in our community and they deserve our compassion and our protection? And if more mainstream politicians had stood up and said that, we wouldn't be in the position we are today. You know, it's not a coincidence after nine months of a movement in solidarity with Palestine. We've had all these politicians, Labour, Tory, saying that the people coming out in the streets are Islamists, are extremists, are terrorists. They've been whipping up that racist hatred, combined with a totally racist criminalisation campaign of the people demonstrating in solidarity with Palestine. This is the sort of rhetoric that inflames the racists. There seems to have been more attacks in the northeast and across the north of England because they know that there's less ethnic minority populations across this uh, region. We also have some of the most deprived regions in the country as well, which isn't alone a factor of these things happening, but you have these far-right extremists exploiting people's conditions and getting them to blame, often the most vulnerable in society, for all of their problems. But in here, in the heart of Newcastle, is the wrong place to choose. As you can see here, the entire community has come out. This is the heart of our community in the northeast, and uh, they haven't shown their face, and I highly doubt they will show their face here.